I have traveled across the country three times in the last three years and I've never heard of Bucky's. You're going to want to know about this place. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you will live even more amazing once you learn about Bucky's. Paul and I just learned about this place and we can't wait to share because if you drive anywhere, if, particularly if you have an RV, you may not know about this place and it is really helpful. Yeah, let me take a second to thank Harley and Ramona for turning us on to this place. I had never heard of it. Thank you so much because it, it's quite the joint. We love the A-Team. We learned so much from you. So it is really awesome. So Bucky's was founded in 1982 and we didn't know what to make of it. The way Harley described it, we were like, what is it? Is it a deli? Is it a, is it a travel center? Is it a truck stop? Yeah, well, it's, it's hard to put into a, into a box. It's, it's really all of those things. It's it's a convenience store. It's it's a gas station and a diesel stop. It's, it's a travel center, but it's not. It is not a truck stop. And that's very important because I think one of the reasons why I missed it in my travels is that I use Gas Buddy, and Gas Buddy I have it set to only take me to truck stops when we have our rig. Mm -hmm. Well. It's not a truck stop, but it's RV friendly. So let's just give you some overview. So Bucky's is a massive convenience store. It has a couple claims to fame. They have the world's record for the largest convenience store. It's 66,000 square feet inside the building. And the world's longest. The world's longest car wash, yeah. The <laughs> longest conveyor car wash in, in one of their stores in Texas. 255 feet of conveyor. So they have over 40 convenience stores, if you can call it that, but that's really not doing it justice. Yeah, it, when, you, when I think of convenience store, I think of 7-Eleven or, or Circle K or one of those. This is, trust me, this is not one of those. Well, let's get into that, but I think we should go back to the gas part of it because we, I mentioned Gas Buddy. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> I wish Gas Buddy had pulled it up because you can save a lot. The Bucky's we went to was in Daytona Beach, Florida, had 104 gas pumps, RV friendly, and what was the price compared to the rest? 40 cents cheaper than any other gas station in town. 40, 40 cents, cents cheaper. They have DEF on the pump, so you don't have to use the jugs, just put it directly from the nozzle into your tank. The one in Daytona has like I think 13 or 14 acres. It just opened in March of 2021. Mm -hmm. And the convenience store is over 50,000 square feet. So we've covered the gas and how cheap it is. Let's talk about some of the crazy wild things that you will see in the convenience store. Just like any other convenience store, they have food, but it's not just hot dogs and burritos. It's brisket and pulled pork and tacos. Tacos and I mean you name well, I won't say you name it, but quite a variety of food that you can get. And it's made fresh there. They have a bakery, they have cookies that I believe they cook on site. I mean, I got some oatmeal raisin that were delicious. And, and they had cakes there and all kinds of stuff. And then they had this long case of beef jerky. <laughs> you name the flavor. I think I even saw coconut beef jerky. I mean, it was just crazy different kinds of flavors. One of the things that they are known for is beaver nuggets. I haven't had them. You haven't had them. If you've had them, let us know what they are because that is another claim to fame and it's some kind of snack. Their snack area would be about the size of a normal convenience store. Thousands of snacks like trail mixes, but they also have things like hot sauces. Now on the other side of the store, I noticed soap candles, ball caps, sun hats, baby clothes, <laughs> regular clothes, leather purses, earrings, coolers, swimsuits. Now we were in Florida, so you know, swimsuits may not be in every store. They had a, a gift shop, home decor. They had uh, barbecue grills out in front for sale. You know, the best way I can describe it is kind of almost like a Cabela's, uh, but I mean different, but, but they have a lot of the same stuff. It was kind of like, it was like Cabela's meets Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I mean, really. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they're, they're not as big 
as N Cabela's. No. They have a lot of outdoor stuff. They have a lot of camping and kitchen items. There's a lot of gifty stuff. I mean, I saw soaps and earrings and stuff, but there's also another claim to fame that Bucky's have, and I don't want to gloss over this, and that is that they have what? The world's cleanest bathrooms. That's a big deal if you're traveling and are used to going into a convenience store, they're often not so great. So when I walked into Bucky's bathrooms, there was a sign that said, potty like a rock star. <laughs> and these are rock star bathrooms. I don't know, there must have been 20, 30 of these stalls, but they were individual doors. They were solid doors, solid walls, you know, that went down to the floor. So it's like walking into a room, not into a stall, a That's small right. room. Yeah, walking into a small room. It even had its own sanitation station in each bathroom and four count them, four rolls of toilet paper in every bathroom. The bathrooms were clean. They had a nice big granite countertop with sinks. I mean, I wanna say there were four sinks there. Mm. I mean, if you're traveling and you know, we don't always use the bathroom in our rig while we're traveling. If you're traveling with a camper, you may not either. Yeah, I mean, if you're in a class A or a class C where you can get to it while you're rolling down the highway, then it's not a big deal. But for, for us, with a fifth wheel, or when I started this life, I was in a bumper pole. And actually, I couldn't get to the bathroom without putting a slide out. Well, that's how the 260RD was. That was the fifth oh, wheel that's right. that yep. I had when we met. Yep. Same thing, you know, which wasn't a big deal. But another thing is, when you're traveling, you want to stretch your legs. So we do recommend that you stretch your legs, go into Bucky's, even if you don't buy any snacks or anything, at least know with a, pretty much a guarantee you're going to have nice bathrooms. And, and good food. I mean, good, fresh food that you can eat on the road. It's uh, better than... Better than most fast food restaurants that you might stop at. You know, I'm talking about the big chains. And a big wide selection of fun snacks. The only negative that I can talk about, and I've only been, keep in mind, I've only been to one Bucky's, the one in Daytona Beach, Florida. But it was new, I think it's only six months old, but the getting in and out was not intuitive. It, it uh, I was a little confused going in. And as you know, when you're pulling, you know, a, a trailer, ours is 35 feet long, but any trailer for that matter, you don't want to get into a situation where you have to back up um, in when there's a lot of cars and trucks going around you. It, they could have done a little better job with, with directions in and out of the place. That's It's minor. Well, we just would have liked a couple more arrows on the road so we knew which way to go because when we came in, we were confronted with two big islands of gas pumps. Remember, there's 104 gas pumps at the Daytona one, and we weren't sure if there was a correct way to go in and out. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't already know it, we're full-time RVers. We've been on the road for three years, so we've got 55 feet total length with us mm -hmm. when we're driving, and we want to be extra careful that we don't get ourselves into a pickle. Those of you who pull RVs or pull trailers know the worst thing that can happen to you is you end up on a dead end street and you have to back yourself out of there. Another feature that they have is a nice dog walk area and they have tons of signs reminding you in a fun cutesy way to pick up after your dog. So I think that's a nice touch too. I also want to say that we got recognized when we were in Bucky's. We love meeting the A-Team. Hi Steve, it was just so great to meet you. And if you do see us out out in the in the world, uh, <laughs> in the wild, in the wild, <laughs> don't don't hesitate to come up and introduce yourself. We love meeting you guys. It really makes our day. Right now, there are 41 Buckies around the country. The 35 of them, I believe, it's 35, are in Texas. The rest are in the southern states like Georgia, Florida, Florida and Alabama. And, yeah. So they're growing, and that explains you know, why, if you have not heard of them, they are concentrated in the south, southeast. Yeah. But they're expanding, and their fans are wild about them, and we're a new fan. Yeah, if you're out west, you're not going to see one. And not yet. Hopefully they have plans to build them out, Arizona and Nevada and such. So if you've been to Bucky's, let us know what your favorite thing is there. We'd love to know, and we'll see you in the next Bucky's maybe. Yeah, Who knows? Well, maybe we'll run into you in one. Where are you going? Well, I have to go to the bathroom, so I thought, might as well go to Bucky's. <laughs>